What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage and that awesome dancing you just saw was all made possible by muscles. I talk a lot about muscles on this channel, how they get tight, how they get painful, and specifically how to fix them. But what do muscles actually do for us? I would like to take some time and tell you all about all the awesome things that our muscles are doing the second we get up till the second we go to bed and even when we sleep. Your body has over 640 different muscles that are working all the time to let us sleep, eat, and breathe. Now these muscles are divided into three different categories, and that's cardiac muscles, smooth muscles, and skeletal muscles. We are going to be focusing primarily on skeletal muscles, but very quickly, your cardiac muscles are the muscles that surround your heart and allow that to keep pumping blood and keep working. The smooth muscles are the muscles that line the intestines and your internal organs that allow your organs to keep functioning even when we sleep. These muscles are considered involuntary because we can't turn them on or off. They are simply always working. Skeletal muscles are the big ones. The ones that everybody sees and everyone cares about. Now, skeletal muscles have six main purposes and they're all for looking good. No. <laughs> the first main use of muscles is movement. Without muscles, we would be doing nothing. Literally. Everything from eating, walking, talking, and texting would not be possible without skeletal muscles. It's all thanks to those tiny little fibers that are always working for you. It's like a bunch of little servants. Secondary to movement, they aid in stabilization. I personally categorize that as part of the movement, but simply when you're standing still and not moving, your muscles are still working. They're stopping you from collapsing to the floor like Play-Doh. This is working slightly different muscle fibers than the ones that contract if you were to say pick up a box, but they're still essential because we stand around a lot or sit on our butts. So just because you're not moving, just because you're not flexing, doesn't mean you're still not doing work. Moving past movement, our muscles third and fourth use are protection. There is a reason muscles are so incredibly strong, especially when they're flexed. Anyone that's had a severe muscle cramp knows how hard muscles can contract and they will not let go at times. Now this is for defensive purposes. Our muscles can take a beating and they protect the internal organs and our skeletal bones. They also act as guards for openings in our body. Muscles are able to move and contract and able to close off areas that we don't want foreign germs to come into. Fun fact, your body can only use up to one third of its maximum muscle strength at any given time. If your brain allows your muscles to use more than one third of the fiber's strengths, it will literally rip your muscle off of its bone. Because the muscle is so strong, your bone and connective tissues cannot keep up with the force generated. And that would probably suck. You also see in movies when someone gets electrocuted, they go flying across the room. That's not because of the electricity. That's because of the strength of all of their muscles contracting at once. Literally, your muscles are strong enough to throw your body across the room. And you thought you were weak. The final uses of muscles are they act as a storage unit and they produce heat. An average person has about 50% of their body weight in muscles. This is a lot of room to store proteins, amino acids, and a few other nutrients. And then it's able to ship them off to the body through your blood, kind of acting as a transport, when and where it's needed. Your muscles, however, are one of the last things to go. That's why when you begin on a diet and you start reducing calories, your muscle mostly stays and fat or adipose tissue is used as the energy source first. If you're losing muscle as an energy source, that's bad. You probably need to eat more because your body is beginning to starve itself and eating necessary tissue. And the final sixth thing our muscles do for us is they produce heat. All of those previous uses that I've just mentioned are expending a lot of energy, especially the contraction and the extension of all the muscle fibers. And all of that energy is then transferred into heat. 
That's why we sweat when we work out, especially if it's really intense. The more physical work we're doing, the more energy given off, the more heat we produce. This is obviously very vital for keeping our body temperature at a good normal. That's also the reason the body shivers. It's trying to mobilize and use all of the muscles at once in order to raise your body temperature and keep you warmer. And that's also why when we see you with a lot of muscles, you're looking so hot. If you want to know more about health, muscles, and fitness in general, check out the channel and please like the video if it did help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Go out and have a good rest of your day.